My name is Nicola Terry and I'm from the Transition Cambridge Energy Group, which is part of the Transition Towns movement. This is not my story, this is a story from one of the other members of the group um, and he was telling us about it at a meeting recently. So he is part of the K1 co-housing project. Um, this is a, a project, um, a bunch of people who wanted to sort of live more cooperatively with a strong community and they got, got together and they to build something in Cambridge. Um, eventually they managed to get City Council support for this um, and City Council offered them a plot of land um, which was great and they wanted to design what they were going to build. They had developers, actually they had some consultants as well. Um, so there was a lot of stakeholders involved in developing this thing and the trouble is it took so long that even though they knew what they wanted, you know, it, it just took such a long time to get it really planned in the level of detail. It was five years. and. Met some of the people who were in the project to start off with, you know, they, they couldn't wait that long. They had to go and live somewhere else. So the, the K1 members couldn't guarantee to buy the houses that the developers were building, um, even though they had very clear ideas of what they wanted. Um, so the developers gave them quite a lot of what they asked for, but they also, you know, were a little bit risk averse. So as well as all the shared facilities and all that sort of thing, they got some important sustainability issues. That they got very tight, um, tight air, um, air tightness and high energy efficiency in their homes, practically passive house standard. Um, and, and they got um, no gas on the development. They didn't want gas because that locks you in um, to carbon. So they have all heat pumps um, and the developers did give them that much. Um, okay, well, it's kind of got, got us thinking. It was really interesting um, to hear the stories of, the, of people's um, past collaborations and it's reminded me, how, again, how useful it is to get involved with schools, especially primary schools, because, you know, you don't necessarily think that primary school children really can take a message, but they can, um, and they can take it home. Um, so, although secondary school children are, are harder to reach because their curriculums are so tight, they simply have no time, the teachers don't give them any time. In primary schools, it, there's a possibility there. Transition did some work with them a while ago on the story competition, which is quite fun. Um, and I think we might build on that to do some more visioning. So the other thing, in the second session, we, we got talking quite widely on, on a range of topics. And, and it was interesting to, to consider the different agents involved. Um, and what their motivations are. And we thought quite hard about how to motivate landlords to, to want to improve the energy efficiency of their homes. Um, and this, re this requires, it's gonna require some research. We really need to do some primary research on this. Um, so I thought that was very useful.